the first drummer you got into? Stuart Copeland. <laughs> I think I had probably already started in tech at that point. Yeah, but that was the first drummer that I can remember that I was really blown away by. It was when I properly started to learn to, to listen to drum parts. Because that took a while, because before that, it was all just music. But I, I didn't actually dissect, well, what is the drummer doing and analyze it until I properly started to study drums myself. And he was definitely someone that was like, oh my God, what he's doing is so cool. He is just flipping things on its head and, and drawing influences from from all these from from reggae um from from all these different styles but he's making it his own which is mm. so cool just by displacing the beat and put put the kick on one hand instead of one and stuff like that when you came to the uk you're a drum tech when was your first like proper drumming job job as in getting paid uh was Probably not until after I had graduated. I was playing in loads of bands when I was studying because um, I just wanted to learn as much as possible about drumming. And I knew that the best way to do that is to just join as many bands as I can playing different, different styles. So I think I was in probably about 10 bands or something like that. But that was small gigs around London. That's how I got to know London as well, because you would just rock up in any odd place somewhere in London in a tiny little venue, dragging all of your breakables all over town on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you know about that, I guess. Yeah, we've all been there. We've all I'm, been there. I'm so glad for that. Like that, you, it's almost like you need to, I, that was exciting, you know, that was really exciting at the time. I mean, the first big gig that comes to my mind uh, was about a year after I had graduated. Um, and that was when I got a gig to, to play with Hans Zimmer at Hammersmith Apollo for two, uh, two sold out nights. And he called it Hans Zimmer and Friends. And that was the first time that he put together like a full live concert with his music, because it's such a complex thing to do because uh, his compositions are just massive and we were 60 musicians on stage for that how did that come about um so i was taking drum lessons with mike dolbeer at the time i'm still taking i'm now taking drum lessons with him again i've had many ah, yeah, cool. so i'm back on the lessons now and i'm loving it uh, but i was taking drum lessons with him and um he had organized the thousand drummers that performed for the Olympics, I think it was the closing ceremony. Um, and Hans Zimmer saw that uh, and he was like, who's written this music? Like, this is amazing. Who's organized this? And he found out that it was Mike. So he got in touch with Mike and he said that he, and he told him that he's putting together a show in London and that he's looking for musicians to join and, and drummers specifically to join the show. And then uh, Mike put my name forward and I was very, very lucky to, to get the job. 